Welcome to German history with a German accent. My name is Wolf, W-O-L-F, just like the animal. And if you enjoy this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. Gotthard Fedor August Heinrichi was born on December 25th in the year 1886 in Gumbinnen as son of minister Paul Heinrichi and his wife Gisela. In March of the year 1905, Gotthard Heinrichi joined the Prussian army in the 6th Thüringische Infanterie Regiment No. 95. In August the following year, he was promoted to the rank of 2nd Lieutenant, and again just before the First World War started, in February of 1914, to the rank of 1st Lieutenant. Fighting at the Eastern Theater, Heinrichi was a participant of the Battle of Tannenberg. In June 1915, Heinrich was promoted to the rank of captain. In the following year, he participated as company commander in the Battle of Verdun. After recovering from severe injury, he was transferred into staff service. Up until the end of the First World War, Gotthard Heinrich served as the first staff officer in the 203rd Infantry Division. Gotthard Heinrich was awarded with both classes of the Iron Cross as well as the House Order of Hohenzollern with swords. In the year 1919, he served as a volunteer in the Grenzschutz Ost, Border Patrol East. In the year 1920, he was serving in the staff of the 1st Division. On September 1st, 1924, he was named Company Commander of the 14th Company in the 13th Infantry Regiment. On February 1st, the year 1926, the promotion to the rank of Major took place. Four years later, he was promoted again, this time to the rank of Lieutenant Colonel. In the fall of the same year, 1930, Heinrich became Battalion Commander of the 3rd Battalion in the 3rd Prussian Infantry Regiment. And on October 1st, in the year 1932, he became the first Staff Officer in Group Command 1 in the city of Berlin. When the Nazis rose to power in the year 1933, Gotthard Heinrich sent a letter to his parents stating his hopes that the drama of the Weimar Republic would be over soon. It was reported that Gotthard Heinrich was close to the DNVP, Deutsche Nationale Volkspartei, in English the German National People's Party, that was certainly on the right spectrum of parties in the Weimar Republic, and one of its main goals was to abolish the Republic and to reinstate monarchy in Germany. During the time between 1933 and 1945, he would get into conflicts for his Christian beliefs as well as for his resistance to join the NSDAP the Nationalsozialistische Deutsche Arbeiterpartei, in English the National Socialist German Workers' Party. And since March 1st, 1933, Heinrich served as the department leader in the Reichswehr Ministry, ranked as colonel. About three years later, he was promoted to the rank of Major General in October of the year 1937. He was named commander of the 16th Infantry Division. In March of 1938, he was promoted to the rank of Lieutenant General. During the Second World War, Gotthard Heinrich was serving on the Western Theater, where he was leading the 12th Army Corps, with whom he broke through the Maginot Lines, ranked as a General of the Infantry. With the beginning of Operation Barbarossa, he had taken command over the 43rd Army Corps which was a part of Army Group Center. He participated in the battles of Minsk, Kiev, and Moscow, and he was awarded the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross on September 18th in the year 1941. The following year, he was promoted to the rank of Colonel General and assumed command over the 4th Army, with whom he caused the Red Army severe casualties in countless defense operations. For stabilizing the front lines, he was even awarded 
the oak leaves to his knight's cross of the iron cross. For ignoring orders, like the torched earth strategy, his command was suspended for two months, both in the year 1942 and 1943. In the year 1944, Gotthard Heinrichi pushed hard for the withdrawal of the overstretched army group center to shorten the front lines. Adolf Hitler, who wasn't pleased with the thoughts of withdrawal, decided to apply a different strategy, which was to create strongholds that his soldiers were to defend under all circumstances. After hearing this, Heinrichi went on a medical leave and handed over command of the 4th Army on June 1, 1944. The 4th Army was encircled and demolished the following month at the area of Minsk. In August 1944, he took over command of the 1st Panzer Army, with whom he fought hard withdrawal battles, for which he was awarded the swords to his Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross. As commander of Army Group Weichsel, he once more brought heavy losses to the Red Army during the Battle of the Silo Heights, where about 33,000 Red Army soldiers lost their lives. Due to a disagreement with the Supreme Command of the Wehrmacht, Heinrichi's wish for dismissal was approved on April 29th, the year 1945. On May 28th, the same year, Gotthard Heinrichi became a British prisoner of war and was released out of captivity in May of the year 1948. On December 10th, the year 1971, Gotthard Heinrichi died, aged 84, in the city of Karlsruhe.